A montage of rear shots depicts students from different walks of life making their way to school. A girl runs to a school bus, a hefty middle schooler walking, a skateboarder glides over a bridge towards the city, walking into a puddle, kicking up a splash, walking in pairs, riding a bike in an alleyway. A teacher greets students arriving. Kids carry more than their backpacks to school. They carry the fight their parents were having that kept them awake last night. They carry the fear of the bully who waits for them, the thing the mean girl just posted about them, the embarrassment they feel whenever they must speak in front of the class. And they carry the weight of the words of the adult who told them they were stupid. They carry the hunger they feel because their mom lost her job. When we see the things kids carry with them into the classroom, and we have neuroscience-based training that helps us understand how our bodies respond to stress and anxiety, we can take actions to help us regulate our emotions and help students get out of fight, flight, or freeze mode and into learning mode. We can build a relationship that makes them feel safe and supported, and that means that kids can learn, teachers can teach, and the entire school can become a more positive environment for all. On the screen, introducing reframing behavior. A new training program from Crisis Prevention Institute, available as a school-wide subscription. We unpack the latest neuroscience to help teachers build positive behavior support and prevent disruptive classroom behavior. Changing the way you see a child's behavior can change everything. Logo, lotus flower, with four colored petals clockwise, blue, orange, gray, purple. Text. Crisis Prevention Institute. Learn more at crisisprevention.com forward slash reframing behavior.